Hello, it has been a while. We are in March 2024 and last year I was in a really good habit of creating a YouTube video pretty much every week, had the Christmas break and of course habits are very hard to get back into. So it's taken me till March to get back into the habit but here I am back on YouTube, back creating video content all about digital well-being and digital culture. So what's happened since you last saw me? Well, a couple of things. First of all, I have a brand new download for you. It is all about how to understand the impact of a negative digital culture and also how to avoid it. So it goes through things like what a digital culture is, what a negative digital culture looks like, what that involves and what the impact that has on productivity, performance and well-being. And then we look at how to make sure you have a more positive digital culture. So I will pop the link for that in the description below. I also created an online course, which is all about creating a positive digital culture. So if you have people in your business, whether that is just two people or 2000 people, then I really highly recommend this course because it's all about, again, improving productivity and performance and of course, well-being as well, but particularly productivity and performance. And if you've never delved into the world of digital culture, this is a really great way to do so. You can work through it in your own time. It is split into different modules that include both the video and also a written booklet if you prefer to read it. So there is that as well. And again, I'll pop the link for that in the description below. And then finally, I have just launched a LinkedIn newsletter. So every week, my digital well-being at work newsletter will be going out. Again, I'll pop the link in the description. So that's an update in terms of work and things that are going on with what's new in the business. Uh, the other thing I want to explore in this video is all about why more businesses aren't thinking about this. So when we look at well-being, so many businesses now are embracing well-being practices. And yet, so many of us spend our days staring at this thing you're staring at now, a screen, without businesses considering our digital well-being and the impact that staring at screens all day can have. They also don't look at things like the impact of digital distraction, digital presenteeism, and all the things that come with living in a digital world. And yet it is such a profound part of our working day and has such a huge impact on our well-being. So why aren't more businesses embracing it? I think firstly, it comes down to they just haven't thought about it. A lot of businesses haven't really considered that this thing that we're plugged into all the time might not be the best thing for us to be plugged into all the time. So there's that kind of lack of knowledge and consideration. I also think there is a lack of um, wanting to change because if I, for example, start talking about how we can change our email management, how we can make sure we're not plugged in as much, I guess a lot of businesses think of that as, ah, uh, so our people will be working less, which is absolutely not the case. If anything, your people are going to be more productive and perform better in their role. But I think there is that fear of if we change this, we're going to get less out of our people. Absolutely false. So one thing that's been going on in the UK in the last couple of years is some businesses have been trialing a four day working week. And those that have trialed it have decided to continue because they found that output has either not changed or has increased because people are getting more time to themselves. And it makes a huge, huge difference to productivity and performance. And digital well-being is very, very similar to that in that it's not about being plugged in all the time. It's about when we're plugged in, we perform to our highest possible level or at least nearly there. And we are productive and we feel good and we're not stressed and we're not burnt out. And yet so much of the digital world does lead to stress and burnout, etc. So I think, you know, it's really important that more businesses embrace this. If you are a business who has not thought about your digital culture, then I definitely recommend getting that download in the description all about the impact of a negative digital culture to introduce you to the concept. So yeah, this is just an intro video back really to say, you know, out there publicly from now on, I will be back on YouTube every week or near enough every week. So thank you for staying here, for being subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, then please do because I will be sharing lots of insight around digital well-being and digital culture in organizations. Take care.